Hello everyone, this is Jayant. I secured All India Rank 594 in uh, SSC CGL 2022 and got selected as Income Tax Inspector. This is my Tier 1 scorecard. It's pretty low, just 134.9. This is my Tier 2 scorecard. I got 87 in Quant, 80 in reasoning, 119 in English and uh, 42 in GS. RAS score is 328 and uh, normalized score is 336. So you can see a lot of improvement in two and a half months. In tier 1 my quant score was 30 by 50 and in tier 2 it's 87 by 90. I would like to share whatever worked for me and uh, I hope this will be helpful for you. For quant, watch this playlist in RBE. I will leave the link in the description. It's a crash course but it will help you in uh, covering all the models try to solve the questions along with sir instead of just watching learn solving the problems through verification method it will save you a lot of time for instance look at this question in my final lecture in order to find more you can use the formula and solve it like this or you can use verification Highest frequency is 11, which means mode gotta be in the interval 25 to 30. So you can just the you can just mark 28.33 as your answer. It takes less than 10 seconds to solve this. Similarly, look at this sum from menstruation. You can solve it using the formula, or you can just check 11 multiple and mark it within a 10 seconds. Similarly, look at another question from my shift. You can solve the entire question or you can just verify 9 multiple in the options. 4 letters out of 40 letters is taken which means 1 by 10th part. So 10 units become 9 units thrice. So the final answer should definitely be a 9 multiple. So try to learn this approach and uh, it will save you a lot of time. Purchase Pinnacle Test Series. It's just 100 rupees but it will help you a lot in improving your score. Attempt sectional mocks. These are completely based on previous year papers. Since you get the same models in the final exam, it will be really helpful. Solve all the previous year papers from 2019 and note down if you find any model difficult. In the end, you should be able to solve each and every model that has been asked in the previous papers. For reasoning in English, my score was not up to the mark either. All I did was attempting sectional marks in Pinnacle for reasoning and uh, previous papers for English. There are people who scored 135 by 135. Watch their strategy and uh, adopt it according to you. As for GS, 42 is moderate score. If you want to get a decent score like me, you can follow my way of approach. Order these two books, Lucent and Black Book GS. Study a topic from Lucent, for example, INC. Now open Black Book and see how questions are being asked from this particular topic. In this way, you will get an idea like what is important and what is not. In the final exam, when there are multiple statements, try to eliminate the options. For example, look at this question from my sheet. It might look lengthy, but you can just eliminate the options. We know that Paddy is a Kharif crowd, which means statement 2 is definitely wrong. So just eliminate statement 2 in the options and you will be left with only one option. Now look at another question. Statements that use extreme words like only, totally, etc. are typically false. There are some exclusions, but mostly it works. Now look at the statement C. As per the new rules, subscribers can make contributions to APY on monthly basis only. Here, monthly basis only seems extreme. So if you eliminate statement C from options, you will be left with one option. Lastly, focus on important topics which are being repeated in every shift like articles, census, etc. Be consistent, attempt to mock daily, 
and like the video and improve all the best